general, as I said, this is uh, this is Anna and Emily. Um, Anna has a has a, a written statement she'd like to make. Are you okay to start? Yep. On the right. Okay. Our brother Julian was brutally murdered last Thursday, Thursday last week, and his body dumped in the Logan River. If you saw or heard anything on that night, we urge you to please come forward. Our brother Julian was a loving, loyal, caring and considerate family man. He was a loving partner, a dad, to two beautiful children, two and four, a stepdad, a son, a brother, a loyal friend, and was much loved by his very large extended family. My brother Julian and my family didn't deserve this. Please help my family find who's responsible. Thank you. Can you tell us a bit about Julian? His, his older brother, was he, was he always a protective older brother of his younger sisters? Yes. Yes. <laughs> what was he like with his children? He was Lovely. such a caring dad. They were his life. When did you last see Julian? A few, a few days before. On my, my birthday. And how was he? So happy. Very happy. Do you remember things you talked about that day? It was a birthday celebration. Talked about family. How are his kids taking it? Everyone was devastated. Um, his dad was his whole life. Mm -hmm. Blake. He had a son and a daughter. Yes. Did Julian work? I'm not here to talk about that. What sort of things did he do with his children? Always playing football and soccer with this little boy. They'd spend hours in the backyard, go to the park, took him to the skate parks, taught him to ride a bike and a scooter. What did Julian love? His family. His family. The Broncos. Um, well, the investigation is continuing, as you can imagine. We, we still have a number of detectives assigned to the investigation from um, locally from the Logan District CIB and the Homicide Squad. Uh, we, we still have a number of appeals to make to the public. Um, we're still obviously interested in speaking to anyone who has any knowledge of the matter. Uh, anybody who can shed some light on why Julian was in the Logan area on the night in question. Um, anybody who saw his vehicle, it's quite a distinctive vehicle as you can see, anybody who saw the vehicle in the area or has any knowledge of its movements. Particularly we're interested in speaking with anybody who visited the um, Henderson Road or the boat ramp around about 8.40pm on that night. Um, and also anybody who actually travelled Henderson Road um, from about 7 o'clock on that Thursday night till 9 o'clock on the Friday morning. You mentioned last week that some members of the public have said they've heard some shots or potentially fireworks. It has anyone else come forward or is that why you're specifically looking at that 840 time? As you can imagine, we, we do door knocks in the area. The, the investigation has revealed that a vehicle um, attended the boat ramp around about 840. Uh, significantly, it only stayed for a very short period, and we do not consider that person to be a suspect. 
We uh, were interested in talking to, that, uh, to the people who were in that vehicle that attended at 840 so that we can um, basically uh, establish whether they saw anything and just to eliminate them at least. Uh, we're still making inquiries along those lines. Obviously, it's a very rural area, and um, that's an ongoing inquiry. Can, that, can you say whether well, Julian is not known to regularly visit the Logan Road? Um, look, he, he's, um, he resides on the north side, and to, to our knowledge, um, he, he may have come over from time to time, but we, we have no reason to believe that he, had a, that he would regularly visit Logan. So we're particularly interested in anybody who can shed any light on why he was in the Logan area that night. Do you have any idea whether at this stage whether he was killed at the boat ramp or whether he was just left there? No, we, we are of the view that the, the, the murder actually occurred there on the boat ramp. Are you able to on this No. No. <coughs> okay.